there is a new report from Semaphore that the Trump campaign is preparing for a jail sentence for Donald Trump. Uh, the judge has again warned Donald Trump. If you don't stop violating the gag orders, I'm going to throw you in jail. Now, do we really believe that that's going to happen? I don't know. But there are a number of different interesting considerations that the Trump campaign is making and in, in potentially preparing for this. One is how will they fundraise off of Trump sitting in jail? I have to tell you, I think it will be a fundraising boon to Trump. I think if Trump does get thrown in jail for a night or two held in contempt for violating a gag order, they will very successfully monetize it. There's no question about it. The Trump campaign and the Trump legal team, according to this very same article, is also considering can we get an alternative punishment like maybe home confinement? Is that something we would be able to ask the judge for on the basis of uh, the difficulty of guaranteeing Trump security in jail? Uh, they are planning a ramp up in fundraising messages. Surrogates will be out in force arguing Trump's perspective. If indeed Trump is jailed, they will martyr him. They will be uh, focusing on the alleged claim that this is all politically motivated. And it seems as though, you know, if I kind of bottom line it right now, it seems to me that if Trump is convicted, it will be very bad for his campaign. And the reason I say that is the polling, which very clearly shows that those the number of voters willing to vote for Trump if he's convicted is well lower than his current level of support. And even if that decline is over exaggerated in the polling, it's something and it's already basically 50 50. So a Trump conviction appears to be very bad for Trump. On the other hand, Trump being thrown in jail for a night or two. I'm kind of with a lot of these campaign people who think it might present a very interesting opportunity to to raise money and to more strongly advocate for the notion that this is all trumped up political nonsense against Trump. So they're preparing for it. Whether it will happen remains an open question. I still remain skeptical that the judge is really willing to say I'm in a jail, a former president. I, I just it should have already happened. And the fact that it hasn't makes me think that the judge is going to give Trump a lot of leeway here to keep violating the gag order and to keep him out of jail. It is time to start thinking like voters and to make sure that kids understand the importance of voting, how it works, registering ballot initiatives, because so many kids just have no idea. That's why I wrote the new children's book. Think like a voter. I can think of no better time and no more important group of folks to try to reach. The book is now available at davidpackmancom slash book, where, by the way, you can get the first two books in the series as well. Think like a detective and think like a scientist. Really important stuff. Donate them to local libraries, classrooms, read them with the kids. davidpackmancom slash book.